Yep. Mayor Mayor Ford. Good old Mayor Ford. Smoking the crack pipe. Man, uh, it's kind of funny. I woke up today to pretty much people texting me from overseas even, from uh, the UK and stuff like that saying, hey, your mayor's out of control. Your mayor's uh, loving that crack. Well, he certainly loves his crack. He certainly loves his booze and he certainly loves missing out on certain meetings and stuff like that. I thought, to be honest, I'm really, I'm really surprised that this mayor is still our mayor because there's been numerous, numerous stories. Like, I'm honestly not surprised seeing this on the front page at this point. He got wasted so many times. He's been, like, wasted apparently so many times during meetings, council meetings. Um, he would skip massive meetings or budget meetings, biggest meetings of the year, to go train some football team, some peewee football team. And, they, and still, he is still our fucking mayor. I honestly cannot understand how this guy is still a fucking mayor. I don't get how this guy is still getting support for all the crap that he does. As, as a mayor, or as someone that is a mayor of a big city like Toronto. I live in Mississauga just outside Toronto. Let's, let's, let's clarify this for a second. But he still influences pretty much everything. Well, not everything, but he is, I'm pretty much in Toronto. But that being said, I don't understand how this guy is still mayor. With all, he's been kicked out once and then he got back in for some reason. For some stupid reason, he's back in, which I do not understand. I feel like he has kind of initiated this plan to open up a casino in Toronto, which is awesome and everything like that to get, you know, jobs and everything. But I feel like that at the moment is the only reason this guy is still mayor. As I was saying, for a city like Toronto, which is, I guess it's a renowned, like everyone, well most people in this world knows Toronto. And if you think of Canada, you think of four cities. You think of Montreal, you think of Ottawa, which is the capital of Canada. You think of Toronto, and you think of Vancouver, I would say. Those are four big cities in Canada that people, for the most part, know. Um, and if anything, Toronto is probably that main city that people know, or Montreal. But tr so if you are the mayor of a massive city like this, how the fuck do you behave like this? And literally, there's a news story about this mayor every single month, a big news story, a scandal about this mayor every single month. The mayor of Mississauga is 90 years old now, and she does a better job than this guy. I don't understand how that's possible, but she does a better job, or at least she knows how to stay out of the spotlight. See, the issue isn't, we all know politicians and mayors are all corrupt and they all do stupid shit all the time. The difference is, the smart ones, the good ones, don't get caught. They don't get caught in front of media, they don't take stupid pictures, they're not idiots. Mayor Ford, if you're gonna smoke the crack, if you're gonna whip out that pipe, and you're gonna heat that thing up, and you're gonna take in those fumes, make sure nobody is looking, and make sure you don't do it with some major drug dealers, because you will get fucked over, like you did again, again. But, knowing our city, knowing how things work, you're gonna get away with it, because you're... I don't fucking know. Maybe you're like the richest man in the world and nobody even knows and you're paying people off left, right, and center. I don't even know. Then again, we had a mayor. His name was Mel Lastman. He owns, or part owner, of a company called Bad Boy, which sells furniture and stuff. But this guy was bad news as well. You know what he did? Back when uh, we had a bid for, I believe, the 2008 Summer Olympics, he made some absolutely ridiculous comment about some Africans and about the fact that we're going to jump around, 
them in some kind of pot and I don't know the worst possible racist comment that pretty much destroyed any chance of us getting the Olympics. Now I'm not saying that the Olympics are necessarily good for a city. Well they are but they do make the city even more broke. So at the end of the day maybe he did us a favor by being very racist but he also did cost us the Olympics which would have been fucking cool to see in this city and now it'll probably never happen because of that. But who knows? Who knows? Anyways, am I surprised that I saw this fat fuck on the front page of the paper? No, I am not. I am not at all. Will we see him on the front page of the paper again? Yes, many, many times. That is Toronto for you folks. An amazing city full of fat mayors smoking to crack, getting drunk, not giving a shit about the people for the most part. Anyways, that is my opinion. That is my little thoughts on the wonderful stuff that has been happening. I'm off to Poland tomorrow. Talk to you guys later. Love you, Walt. Stay sexy, stay hungry. Get